18-year-old Itai Regev recounted that after being taken hostage, he was operated upon by Hamas without anesthesia, without. 12-year-old Eitan Yalomi was held in solitary confinement for 16 days during which he was forced to watch the atrocities of the Hamas Nazis at gunpoint. When he cried, Hamas ISIS threatened to kill him. All of you here, all of you who have children, think about this for a moment. Hamas forced children to watch their families and friends be butchered. Nine-year-old Emily Hand spent 50 days as a hostage. You know what happens today, weeks after her release, she still cannot speak. She's too afraid. She can only whisper. She's just whispering. Why? Because Hamas terrorists threatened to murder her if she made even the slightest sound in the terror tunnel where she was being held. Women, children, the elderly are suffering the unimaginable. So calling for a ceasefire now, while they are still being held, is the most immoral thing to do. If this body wants a ceasefire, then it should first and foremost be doing everything possible, everything possible to bring all of the hostages home.